Whitney.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Whitney Ullman here with Michael Cardelloni from Leonard Skinner. He's the drummer. You might know him from that, but you also might remember him from the art that he does because you may have seen an interview we did a few years ago when he was in Atlantic City at the Wentworth Gallery. And Michael, I'm so excited because not only are you coming back to Atlantic City for your art, but you're also coming back to perform. So why don't we talk about both of those? But why don't we start off first with your art? Tell us what you've been doing and what your inspiration has been in the last few years. Well, um, thank you, Whitney, for having me on this. And you were very kind enough to come to the Wentworth Gallery show a few years back at the Hard Rock yes. in Atlantic City, which is where this event is going to happen. So it's Friday, July 8th. Yes. That day at the Hard Rock, um, Atlantic City, uh, the Wentworth Gallery show is from 12 to 3 in the afternoon. And then that night, Leonard Skinner plays at Ovation Hall, which is literally just a couple blocks away. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the casino yeah. next door. So that's perfect. Yes. So if they're coming down to see you, they could actually touch both casinos and enjoy themselves. That is the hope. Mm -hmm. So um, you've asked what I've been inspired by and what I've been painting for the past few years. Yeah. You may remember when we had done that interview, um, I had been working on what I call pixelism paintings with yes. all of the little squares. And when you stand back, your eyes kind of focus and the picture comes into, into, um, into play. Yes. So um, I've continued doing those. And there are, um, I think it's another half dozen wow. brand new ones that'll be in the show at the um, Hard Rock uh, um, Wentworth Gallery. Wentworth Gallery, okay. Yeah, and um, aside from the pixelisms, I've also done a few uh, um, paintings on the side. One was a, um, I painted a drum for um, the company that I've been uh, an endorser of for over 30 years now, Pearl Drums. Okay. And to commemorate my 30th anniversary, wow. um, I painted a, a snare drum uh, with portraits as the, you go around the drum of all my different drumming heroes. So that one was pretty cool. How cool. And then even for the pixelated art, what type of images are people going to see? Uh, famous people, um, famous artwork okay. that, that I've brought into the pixelism world. You may remember we took a photo in front of the Mona Lisa. Yes. Pixelism. So I've done more famous paintings pixelated, which is really fun. Have you heard the news at the Mona Lisa? Oh, with the cake? Yeah. Who yeah. does Yeah, hopefully there was glass in front of Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then also, um, I thought I would try something new with this pixelism approach, and I've done a few um, floral paintings. That's cool. Which are really cool and very, very colorful. And um, one of them is the biggest pixelism I've done. It's, it's five feet tall. What? You have a five foot tall painting? That's so cool. So yeah. where do you do this? Do you do this at your house? Right where I'm sitting right now <laughs> in the corner of this room. Okay, so you're in your studio yeah, right see, now. There's all my painting stuff right there. Kind of, kind of see a little bit of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so Actually, cool. this is a new painting, but it's on the other side of the sheet of plywood. But okay. it's not finished, which is why it's turned it's away. Turned around. <laughs> That's so cool. That's nice to have a hobby like that and, and actually to be make it lucrative and to show people and for people to appreciate it. I mean, that's the dream of every artist. It's but very um, satisfying when when um, people come into these galleries and see the work and, and they view it really um, not because of the drummer from a rock band, but they view it just as art. Art. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It probably makes you feel so good to know well, that. It really does because that means the the work is standing on its own. Yes. For what it is. Yeah. Not do people come up to you? Like, do people come up to you at the show or after the show and say, "Hey, I have a piece of your art"? All the time. Wow. All great. the time, and I hear um, from people on social media all the time who have just purchased something from Wentworth. Um, because Wentworth, they circulate the art the different through problems. our gallery chain, even if I'm not doing a live event. So okay. there's always stuff kind of being marketed. And, yeah. um, you know, and it's fun just to get a, you know, a, a, 
um, a note from someone where they've taken a photograph of something that's hanging up in their house. So cool. No. It's really awesome. And especially here, we have the Wentworth Gallery at Hard Rock. We also have the one at the King of Prussia Mall. So that's good to kind of toggle between the two. And plus, they have other locations as well. So it's nice. Are you exclusively with Wentworth? Wentworth has been showing my artwork now for the past 12 years. Oh, yeah. wow. It's How been cool. wonderful. Yeah, I mean, I love that they do that and, you know, especially brings attention to the gallery and it's cool that it's in the casino. So when you're here in Atlantic City, what do you love doing? Well, um, you know, I enjoy the just walking the boardwalk. boardwalk. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, why not? I'm here in New York, so we've got our version of it at Coney Island, but yeah, um, but Atlantic City is very fun. Now, <laughs> mind you, this is a very quick trip so the time in between the art show and the gig is pretty much my going back to the hotel and sleeping <laughs> yeah taking and a nap and then, and then going to the gig yeah. so now i get have it. a lot of uh, play time on this one is there anybody in the music world that you think is just super amazing some new artist that you'd love to kind of give a shout out to you know i think billy eilish is great Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think she's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what's the last concert you went to? Oh, we're talking, we're talking pre-COVID. Yeah, I guess. So you haven't been to one since COVID, right? Okay, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's tough. Um, eventually, I will. Okay. But, um, just not quite ready to, to do that. You know, I, I think it's just um, changed the game for everyone. Mm -hmm. you know, in, in unexpected ways. And now we're just trying to figure out how to navigate. Yeah. You know, even, even this year's Skinner tour is, um, it's fewer dates than we've had in the past because I think we're all in the business just trying to catch up. Yeah. When everything shut down and then everything started to trickle open again, there were now new protocols that we had to learn how to walk through. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even for me, when I talk about entertainment, a lot of times I'll see, oh, this person is here. They were originally scheduled May of 2020, and now this is the new time. So a lot of people are now fulfilling their agreements and their yes. contracts now. So it's kind of interesting. And not only that, but when everyone had to go into pause mode, as soon as the things started to open up again mm -hmm. and everyone wanted to make up for lost time yes then you had access to the venues as an issue because everyone was trying to get in the same place so true i know that's tough well it's good and and you after 30 years are you still excited to perform and be on stage absolutely you still get um, the same feeling if, if i'm not uh if I'm not sitting behind drums, I'm sitting behind the easel. So, you know, life is good. I have no complaints. Good, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to tell your fans? Uh, just that I hope everyone um, can come out and see the band this year. Um, be safe and uh, um, we will come out and we'll give you a good show. Awesome, well, we're looking forward to seeing you.